All right. Of course, Patrick Norton. I mean, he's got a lot of respect and reputation. He was on Tech TV. If you don't know who Patrick Norton is, turn this fucking show off now. <laughs> okay. Just, just go to watch the video and then go to DL.TV later on. www.dl.tv. If you like it, great. If you don't, okay. <laughs> okay, you know what? I want to ask you. Okay. What is a hacker? A hacker? You. What you mean, do you a, mean a hacker it? in the sort of like, nope. I make things better and explore and grow to know them? Or a hacker in the sense of, hackers are destroying the children of America today, media hype bullshit well, thing. And you are we can curse on this? Is there anyone under 18? We're good? Yeah, okay. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> uh, what do you oh, think a hacker is? <laughs> what do I think a hacker is? A hacker is somebody who explores and try to literally own the guts of something, to grok things. To completely like, just own the subject. Whether it's DNS or, you know, race car engines. Some of the most amazing hackers I know are people that tweak shocks, you know, for off-road racing. Because they've just gone inside and owned that subject. Okay. Um, all right. And hopefully take it to a new level. Um, yeah. well, new level parts. Well, cracker. What is cracker? A cracker. A cracker is somebody who breaks into things. That's pretty simple. But yeah. that's what it is. All right. What is your opinion of, of the whole hacker scene today? How the media portrays it? Well, of course, you know, you know both sides. I mean, you've seen, you've been on both sides. I'm pretty sure who has it. Uh, everybody knows somebody who has seen something or a web page. Or, all right. What do you, what, I mean, you're in the media. I mean, right. you do. You I'm a media professional. professional. I am not. <laughs> um, how do you how do you feel like about how the media presents hackers? What do you think that the media's opinion? I mean, like you know, local news. I think it's okay. I think it's one. I think it's bad. Anytime somebody goes, a virus, a malicious virus will destroy your computers and all of your important files. We'll be right back. Well, that thing they do where they stretch it out or they talk about, you know, that, that when they're, they, they tease you with something, it's like, oh my God, it's horrible, I have to keep watching. And then they go at the end and it's like they tell you about this virus or this thing or phishing or whatever it is, you know. Jack in the newsroom seven, action investigation team. Let's go to Jack and Jack's back there. Martha, I've heard about something violent, terrible and evil on the interweb. Hackers are attempting to steal your credit card codes by using something called... Fishy, right? And then he talks and he puts the fear and it's like, watch out for emails. And it's like, if they sit there, if they sit there and they say, look, bad things can happen or this bad virus is coming out, this is what you do to fix it, great. If it's one of those things where, the, where they're like, what's going to scare technically unsophisticated people into being afraid of computers and using the web because, hey, it makes the ratings go up and they're jerks out of the building sticks. Agreed. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Uh, you know, I mean, we tried for the first couple of years of Tech TV. We tried to kind of, you know, reclaim hacker and like, you know, sort of use cracker instead of hacker. And it's just like you know, cracker. You know, that's an insult to white people. You know, because it's a, you know, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a derogatory white man term. That's the one. And uh, and uh, you are a professional. So. The, uh, and what we ended up, you know, we kind of had to give up because every time we did that, we had to explain the context, and it just was, just, it just the momentum that the, the general public, in most cases, that thinks of hackers as being bad people who do naughty things, you know, on the interweb. Or, you know. What do you? What is your opinion of like moral ambiguity when it comes to like you know dark hat, red hat, white hat? I mean, me personally, I feel that hacking is the exploration of a system. Morals don't belong in that exploration because you know mommy and daddy well, should teach you morals, not I mean. Like, that's where they have hacker and crack. Right. Did, you, did you ever hear of Neil Stevenson, like Crimsonomicon, the books he's a, he's a fiction writer, yeah. Yeah. the whole rogue cycle? It was really cool because what he did was he brought to life the people that are responsible for modern science. The most interesting one in a lot of ways because he tries to play up people. You know, everybody, you know, everybody hears about the laws of gravity and Newton, right? But nobody knows about Hook. You know? And the really beautiful line that Stevenson puts together, he says, look, the, the you know, Newton is, is he, Newton's a mutant, right? Nobody's like Newton. Newton looks at the world and he sees things that nobody else has thought about before. Hook looked at things that every one of us can see if we just pick them up and look at them. And he sort of figured out how the body works, the physiology. But he also, he was ruthless. He was absolutely ruthless. You know, this is a guy who, you know, they, they basically, to figure out how the circulatory system is, you know, they were doing things like, you know, cutting open live dogs and keeping them alive while they basically figured out how the whole blood, lung, intestines kind of thing worked. It was incredibly cruel and hard. It doesn't need to be done anymore, but at the time, it was the only way they were going to sort this stuff out, right? You know, if you sit down there and you, you know, if you say, if, if you know, it's a really interesting question, right? Somebody, you know, I'm, I'm going to explore the telephone network system, right? Is that illegal? Ask a lawyer, right? You know what I mean? Is it, uh, you know, is it unethical? It depends on your religion, right? You know what I mean? Or, or whatever defines your morality, you know, or your sense of ethics. Um, you know, but the thing is, is if somebody doesn't go and look at something and try to figure out why it doesn't work or how it could work better, it never gets better, right? And anybody says, you can't look at our software because, well, 
We don't want people from data in. And that whole like the trade secret thing, you know, because if you want to if you want to patent something, you've got to basically expose its innards to the universe. That's why a lot of things are trade secrets, like the Coca Cola formula, rather than patent. Because everybody can go out and know it, you know, and they can go make it anywhere. You know, the whole idea that you know it's it's look, people do bad things. Your product should be as good as you can possibly make it. If you don't take, you know, if, if a security company or a researcher or even a kid in Purdue calls you up and says, hey, this is broken, you should fix it, and you don't, and, you know, then you can get your ass kicked on, you know, by an internet virus or whatever it is. Well, that sucks, but you know what? You know, it's just, it's amazing, right? Microsoft Windows, about a bazillion lines of code, right? The whole point of this is to try to, you know, take a bazillion lines of code and, and try to make it have fewer holes. Is it going to change over time? I don't know. Gray hats versus white hats? I mean, look, the NSA actively recruits in every hacker convention in the world. You know, and every, you know, security companies, that's where they recruit, you know. Kevin Paulson, he was a nasty man, but now he writes for security folks, you know. He's a good guy. He's trying to explain how this stuff works. And he's got amazing connections. And people tell him stuff that they would certainly never tell me or somebody at the Wall Street Journal. So, you know. Everybody's got a place in the world. You know, if you're going out and you're like, you know, society owes me a living and I'm going to like steal eBay account numbers and I'm going to pay for my, you know, yeah, we know, a couple, we know a couple of people like that. Well, yeah, but it's like, well, it's sitting there, it's like, hey, dude, on one hand, you know, it's a very creative hack, the human system taking advantage of eBay and people's gullibility. And on the flip side, it's like, you're a jerk, you know what, and karma's going to kick your ass halfway across the planet. And you know what, and sometimes karma needs a helping hand. Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't endorse that publicly. But I do. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, well, I'm the one who said, like, you know, every, there should be hunting season for spammers, but, you know, that's a, that's a, a humorous thing. Please do not go out and hunt the spammer uh, on my behalf. I don't like spam! <laughs> no, I don't. Um, who knows what's going on? I don't know, is that profound enough, or is that just too ostentatious? It works. I don't know. I mean, black hat, white hat, you know, everybody I know who's a white hat, He's either done a little black hat thing or knows where that boundary is, you know. The idea that, you know, it's a trust game, right? Yes. I mean, I don't, I, I personally feel that morals just shouldn't belong in packet. Yeah. So, morals are a personal point of view. One man's terrorist is another man's freedom fighter. Yeah, well. So, I mean, I have, I have absolutely no idea, like, you know, how spamming Viagra and horse porn people is... Is, uh, is Don't you just love the horse porn? What is, <laughs> why? Why does that show up? I just want to thank the folks at Google um, for eliminating horse porn. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. For anyone that was at the last BSOD meetup, we damned well know that horse porn is not off of Google. Well, at least it's not getting into my Gmail account. I have not accidentally clicked on a piece of The one board great months. thing I love about Gmail is when you go into the spam. Don't be hiding your face, because you've you've seen it. You've seen every everybody who has an email account and, a, and has had an unfortunate spam incident has eventually seen something involving animals and human anatomy. And hey, if the animal's consenting, God bless both of all parties. But if the animal's not consenting, it's just wrong. God. Well, oh know. god, so many horrible things that have been done <laughs> on the internet. Thank god for log files, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But oh, I mean, and the other thing, if you're a teenager and you're on MySpace and you don't think your parents can find things you're talking about on MySpace, well, you're going to get your ass kicked. Um, you know what, really, when I have kids and they yeah. can learn how to hide from me, oh, let's go. Let them. It's the whole, you know, when they can teach me something, you okay. know, that's, that's the one night you're not catching beat. Yeah, well, until you find out that they've hacked in your bank account and bought a new guitar. Then there's gonna, that's going to be a moral dilemma for you. Yeah, how to pay their hospital bills when I break the guitar exactly. over your knee. Exactly, because that's when you learn about actions and reactions, right? Yeah. And being responsible for them. So. Definitely. Okay, so we covered white hats. What's a red hat? Security, uh, security specialists. Like, you know, people who are, oh, well, you know, white hat. I hack for good. I hack... The open source right. and you know, all that great stuff. Black hat is oh, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go I'm and root, I'm gonna go and root VNCs and in and PayPal myself hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars, build myself a girlfriend because you have no social skills to get one. <laughs> Craigslist, transvestite free. I don't have a transvestite, but I did meet my wife through Craigslist. So. Really? <laughs> that is cool. I met like, my wife on the interweb. So I've never, never really. Nothing good to ever come from Craigslist. Oh God, the images. Easy. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. Um, okay. Security, security specialist. But you know what? How can you be a security specialist if you don't know how the criminals work? Like a lot of the stuff that's on the show, you can take it. Okay, great. I just learned how to protect myself, or I just learned how to steal something. Well, and that's it's, that's information should be there for be made available for you to do whatever you want.
it. I mean, granted, on this show, we never gonna we don't condone. I mean, there's nothing. He's not gonna like, like, tell people how to like hack into people. No, right? no. I mean, there's there's no nothing good has ever come into you know denial of service attacks, right. spam, harassment, juvenile crap that a lot of these hackers in. I hate to say the 2600 scene, but I hate the 2600 scene. Like, I'm not going to touch this one because there's, there's yeah. a whole East Coast thing involving... Like, the, the reason I did not go to Hope is because we could not find a muzzle and shackles that could contain me. Because okay. I would just chew people. That's deep cleansing breath. Okay. We're good. Well, you know, my therapist said I was fine. <laughs> <laughs> but so then again, then again, again, he still thinks I'm making my pants. That's between you and everyone watching. Bastards of the dialogue. But I mean, you know, there's just so much confusion of what a hacker is. What a, no one, a lot of people on this the confusion is, is not going away. I know this confusion is not going away because, you know, I was reading the email letters. They, they did a hack everything article for PC, but cover big course and cover story PC magazine, and it talked about everything from like, you know, I wrote an article about hacking prices, about how people are basically putting EV buttons in them and batteries, and you can basically get 100 miles to the gallon for like 10 miles. And somebody else wrote it, you know, or they wrote about like uh, ODB2 meters, so you can learn how to, you know, yeah. figure out what the check engine like, not get screwed by your local dealership. And people wrote about cool things to do with cameras and, and you know, how to make you customize like Word or whatever, all these different cool things. And, and somebody, because this guy is an IT guy, wrote it and was like, you know, I can't believe you're condoning hacking and people are wrong and I'm canceling my subscription and you're all bastards, you know. And, uh, Sons of dial -up. Well, the guy, <laughs> well, the guy never actually read the article, so he didn't understand they were talking about hacking in the sense of, you know, bringing more features and making things better and making life more cool, you know, by taking these the technology in your life and tweaking it and, and, and bringing it to the next level. He just assumed it was like, you know, they were teaching people how to crack credit cards or something. It's wow. like, you know, it's, it, but it's, it's a problem, right? But, you know, as, as a person that's, well, kind of in the media, I mean, I'm definitely not as big as you. I'm probably never going to reach... You're putting your face on a camera and it's on the web. Eventually something's going to happen. You know what? I'm, it's going to be there forever. Nothing on the internet ever gets deleted. I mean, Everything like what I'm trying to do is try to tell the world, show the world through the show that hacking, hacking is not a crime. It doesn't have to be. I mean, granted, there are some laws that need to be bent or broken. Like, I've got an Xbox. I modded my Xbox. I don't care for stealing the games. Yeah. Xbox Media Center is the one reason I got two Xbox Media Center is awesome. It's, it's hell's yeah. Greatest thing ever made. Only thing my Xbox, though. Yep. I mean, Xbox, Xbox Media Center, Windows with the Windows or Linux using networking shares. There you go. There's all your media. Why are you going to go to digital life and go, oh, yeah, Intel's got this new streaming technology. Yeah, I've got it now. It's called... Five is a marketing effort. That's a whole other. Yeah. But, I mean, people don't realize that. But that core to do a processor is nice, too. I still use a Pentium 2 for Mostly on a Pentium 4. Go All right. uh, okay, now now more. that we just whipped our hardware out on the table and I just got shamed. <laughs> That's okay. How many people here have bought a new processor for the computer in the last six months? Raise your hand. Last year? Well, yeah, like last, last year. Years. My computer blew up. It's okay. See, they beat me. All four of those guys. Oh, hey, you know, whatever works for you. You know, I'm well, Irish. I don't flash my arm. It's not to be done. It's not going to give me any points. <laughs> Oh man, chicks, chicks, chicks don't animals. care about how much bend that you've got. <laughs> He's lying. <laughs> anyway, it's Patrick. The of the packets, right? Thank you. Thank My you pleasure, very man. much. It was an honor to meet you. Pleasure, You'll eventually be on the show. I'm probably going to save this for a later episode. I'm doing a whole schlep, but thank you. Good, thank you. Pleasure.